guys, Pokemon 14. Welcome back to more shiny Pokemon Diamond and Pearl walkthrough. In the last episode, we took on Aaron, the first member of the Elite Four. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the second member of the Elite Four. Which is probably going to be just as easy as the first. Yeah, we destroyed Aaron, just in case you didn't realize that by my team and my awesomeness. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the second member of the Elite Four. Well, well, you're quite the adorable Oh, right. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer. Trainer? Trainer, but you've also got a spine. <laughs> spine, Bertha. I have a preference for ground time, Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? That's my Bertha voice. Congratulations, I ruined your childhood and uh, depiction of Bertha, or whatever the word is. How you see Bertha, whatever. Okay, Bertha is a ground type, Matt. It's probably, it's supposed to be ground, but. They're, uh, they're, yeah, more ground types than rock. But yeah, she starts out with a Quagsire level 55 water ground type. Dig, double team, protect, and sandstorm. They'll usually start out with protect, but whatever. Or sometimes. Well, apparently not. The reason I have wood hammer on this is, well, because it's awesome, but it's four times effective against the water ground type Quagsire. I think it's an easy kill. Okay, but... I actually switched up some items. As you may be able to see when I did the descriptions, I don't have the Quick Lawn Bonsai anymore, but I have a Shell Bell because Wood Hammer gives recoil, as you can see, and then the Shell Bell, it actually takes away some damage. <laughs> Whiskash, oh wow, you're really smart. Hey, I just sent in a water ground type and it just got destroyed. Now let's send in another one. Girl, you horrible snark. Okay, Whiskash, level 55 as well. Water ground type with moves Fisher, Aqua Tails, then Headbutt and Rock Slide. I didn't see if it used Fisher or not, but Fisher won't work on a Pokemon that's higher level than you. It's a one hit KO move and it has 30% of a chance. I have no idea if it actually used it or not, and if it would have hit that would have been really bad, because that's a one hit KO. But another one hammer, another Pokemon down. This is getting really easy. Ground type people and rock, they are always easy because usually when I do let's plays, I have one fire, one water, one grass type Pokemon. Two Water and grass types are both super effective on the ground people and rock, so this is going to be really easy. Sudowoodo. This is her Pokemon that, that, one of her two Pokemon that actually isn't quad effect, that actually I don't have anything quad effective on. Because, yeah. Because I don't. Okay, level 56 rock type. And then it's Earthquake, Sucker Punch, Hammer Arm, and Sandstorm. Sucker Punch, I mean, it's a pretty good move in competitive, but it doesn't always use it if... If you're attacking, then you'll get hit by it, pretty much, but... Unless he doesn't use it, then you will actually get hit by it, but... Which he didn't, so this is pretty easy so far. Breezing through these Elite Four battles, these are really... Easy. Hmm. I don't know, I mean, the champion's gonna kill me now that I've said that, but... Well, not kill me, I'm probably not gonna lose in a battle, but... Gonna put, give me a challenge. Haha, oh, your speed fell. I'll take you out with a brick break, because I can. I didn't use that move much. I went out of, I went completely out of my way to get it, and I've not really used it that much. But I mean, I will when the time comes. If the time comes. Oh, wow! No wonder I haven't used it. Didn't even kill the Sudowoodo. I expect a heal, so, yeah. All the four Elite Four members have two Forasaurs, except for one, which isn't actually an Elite Four member, kind of. You'll see what I mean. I do kind of want to conserve the power points on Surf, but I mean, I don't think it'll be that bad. I I want to conserve the Fire Blast, because it's my only Fire that I move on the team. Garchomp can learn uh, Fire Fang, yeah, if you use a Heart Scale, but I didn't have any. I don't feel like mining. And I'm not going to be showing mining in a bonus episode, but because there are some more bonus episode things that I'd like to show that isn't the stuff. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here is her toughest Pokemon, which, uh, I have no idea what to use against it. Mm. Uh, yeah, better defense. Okay, Aquazel, level 50, no. Hip on level 59, her toughest Pokemon, pure ground type, and lose Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch, and Curse. This thing is a beast. It's also got Sam's Stream, so rock type Pokemon have their special defense up. So hope that she sends out her last Pokemon that she's sending out here before Hip Out On. 
So sandstorm helps rocks types. Rocks types, rock types. Uh, whatever. Curse. What it does, I think you know, lower speed, raise attack and defense. Because if on on as slow as triangles anyway, it's a good move for it to use. Actually, you have a curse, Brian. Curse, Umbreon. For a competitive team and my fourth gen team, which is my only team. Why am I saying team so much? Work as a team. Team, team. La la la, a cheerleader team. No. Not really. Hmm. Oh well. Not supposed to oh wow, you stupid cheese nugget. Wow, stupid cheese nugget. What a great insult. Uh, but goodbye, Aquazelle. You were good while I even knew you. Bom 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 bom. This is supposed to be funeral music for Aquazelle, if you couldn't tell, but yeah, I don't think you could tell. Okay, now who? Pretty much anything could take it out right here, so. Just to taunt. No, I'm not risking that. Um, uh, what the heck? Go with the Ender. I'll show off Dragon Rush. It's a 100 power move, just like Earthquake, so it's pretty good, but it only has 75 accuracy, so I wouldn't be surprised if it missed right here. It's like, hey, I don't think. Hey, I think it might miss, and then it hits. Come on, you gotta hit, come, you gotta hit, and then it misses. Oh, what? It didn't kill? Hippalon is a beast, and there's an example right there. But, Garchomp at level 48, it does learn Crunch, but I have so many Pokemon with it, I'm not gonna need it anyway. Please don't heal. Stupid fat, so you healed! Nah, <laughs> whatever. I think I got a little spit on the screen, and that's just a random mark. Yeah, it's just a random mark. Well, this is gonna take a little bit more forever now. Hmm. Oh, I don't think the next battle is gonna take this long. Jeez! Stop surviving everything! I just wanna kill you! You're putting him a good fight, and I need to use the disc space in the next battle, too. No. Oh, I just realized I should probably. Whoa! This is doing nothing. I'm gonna say goodbye to Garchomp pretty soon. Luckily for me, uh, it's not exactly gonna die because, well, what do you mean? it's not exactly gonna, it's not exactly gonna get hit by the sandstorm. Wow, I'm just losing my train of thought and saying completely stupid random stuff. And I'm sorry about the beeping. I can't help it. But it, it found on again. Well, I could help it, but I don't want to. Me <laughs> hee. Okay, I'm not using physical attacks. I've learned my lesson. And I got destroyed because of it. I'm not exactly fear that I'm gonna lose, but... Hmm, whatever. It's like, hey, I'm not using physical attacks. I'm sending a pure physical attacker. Good job, Connor. But whatever, I mean, it's wood hammer. It's 120 power. It's stab. It's gonna destroy. and super effective. Okay, I was just sitting there like... Watching it, please die, please die, please die. And it, okay, it, it died, so I'm happy. Wow, Torterra's gotten a pretty good amount of action, it already just grew to level 51. Well, it, yeah, I mean, it's going to, I mean, I see the experiencing it, you get a lot of experience from the Elite Four Pokemon, especially the toughest ones. So yeah, plus three defense, oh, Giga Drain, I was wondering if it would actually learn that, but no, my moveset is final. I don't even know if I'm going to use Leech Seed, but I mean, uh, it's certainly more useful than Giga Drain. Golem! Uh, this is bad, because I, the one I was going to send out against it is dead. Aquazelle. Level 56, Rock Ground type in this Earthquake, Gyro Ball, Brick Break, and Sandstorm. It is four times weak to any uh, Grass or Water type move. Ice is super effective on it, pretty much everything super effective on it. You know how to deal with a golem by now. Hopefully you should. I think you've fallen in the Elite Four. Well, four times effective, that's kind of an obvious kill. Oh, okay, please don't kill me. Okay, good. I was worried that I'd get killed by the recoil, but why am I saying kill so much? Oh, whatever. Shell Bell, I mean, it helps. If it weren't for it, I would kind of not be here now. My Torterra would be. Skull and Crossbow, not really. 
Lord, welcome to your channel. I'm not surprised if your Pokemon leave new new nails. Even though I lost, you found myself with a silly grin. Pokey Yaga is that? Oh, she's not saying that. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon are in the wind by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. <laughs> I think you can go as far as you want. The trainer in the next room is a much more formidable opponent. You must really... I'll call him back. You really must hang on what's about you. However, I think you can go as far as you desire. <laughs> I'm no witch. No, I don't care. Just silence you, phone. I'll be back for that call. Well, thanks you guys for watching this episode of my shiny Pokemon. Whoa. Dumb and Pearl walk through. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the third of the Elite Four. And getting our third of the Elite Four badge. Even though it's not a badge. It's just that uh, you advance to the next room after that. And you advance to the next room after that. Anyway. Oh, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you then. Good triangles. <laughs>